morning happy day one of the reading rush day one of my possibly daily vlogs i haven't decided if i'm going to do daily or every other day yet but so far it's looking good i woke up early as you saw and i managed to finish a book already but before you start congratulating me i only had 200 pages left of it because i started it over the weekend and i was supposed to finish it then and that book was Warbreaker. So I was meant to finish it yesterday, but I just fell asleep. I could not carry on with it. So I finished it this morning, first thing. And it's really not my favorite Sanderson book. I think this gave me real Elantris vibes in that it's not as well constructed and thought out, it's not as well edited in my opinion. And it's just not as engaging. And I didn't love the way that Sanderson continues to explain the world building right up to the very end. And it's nearly 700 pages. We were still getting explanations to the characters on how the magic system works at page 500 to 600. It seemed a bit silly to me because the reader already knew all of this, we didn't need any more exposition. I wasn't very impressed by this one, I'm going to give it three stars. It was still an easy read, it was it was good, it was a Samson book, but it's not my favourite. But now that I've read this, I can start my next book, and that is The Way of Kings. So I'm reading this one with my friends Justine and Cassidy. Justine and I are rereading this one, and it's Cassidy's first time, so we've started a little group chat and it should be really fun to read. I think the plan is to read five chapters a day, so I'm just going to quickly check to see where chapter six starts. Okay, cool. So I need to read 89 pages today and some of those pages are illustrated. So I can definitely do that as well as start some other books. This is obviously the first book in the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson. The first three books are out. The fourth book is coming out in November, so we're all trying to catch up. I'm also going to be doing a separate reading vlog for this, I think, if I manage to get, you know, really into it, which I'm hoping I will. So stay tuned for that. I also need to finish off Burn Our Bodies Down. I've got so many plans for this readathon, guys. It's kind of intense. So I also need to finish off Burn Our Bodies Down, which I'm listening to as an audiobook because I received it for free from NetGalley in exchange for a review. And I've got four-ish hours left of it. So I should manage that this morning while I'm working because I've, when I'm not replying to emails, I'm managing to listen to audiobooks again, which is really nice because previously when I was working in the office, I would listen to audiobooks during my commute. So I would listen to about an hour and a half every day and I would get through so many audiobooks. But now obviously I don't have a commute at the moment because I'm still working from home. And I think I will be for the next month or so. So I don't have a chance to listen to audiobooks and it's only just now that I've managed to get into the routine or the rhythm of listening to audiobooks while I'm working. So I need to finish that off and then pick another audiobook, which I didn't mention in my TBR video, but it's fine. And then I also really want to start The Last Astronaut, which was in my TBR video. This one is adult science fiction about people who want to save the Earth, first contact, I think, and it's very short. This one will meet the challenge for, well, the, the book that starts with the. I'm probably also going to read it outside. The Way of Kings also starts with the, but I'm probably not going to finish this this week. That would be very, very ambitious of me. And also the book that I first touched was Warbreaker. So I've already completed one challenge and it's only, what, nine o'clock in the morning? Almost exactly nine o'clock. So I'm pleased with myself. I need to go and start work now. So I'm gonna go do that, read some of Burn Our Bodies Down and then maybe get started on one of these two books. I haven't decided which one I want to start first but I do, I'm more tied to this one because I have to read a certain amount of pages per day. I might start tabbing it up actually. Yes, let me do that. And let me go and start work and then I'll get back to you once I've done some more reading. I have to talk to mom, yell and to cry and to, I don't know what, but I have to hear her voice. I have to make her hear my phone's too clammy, fingers too quick. I missed dial twice, but soon the phone is ringing and the speaker is pressed to my ear. So I'm just taking a quick break. I'm editing parts of this video from this morning because my plan is to edit as quickly as possible and get the video up tonight. Just once I'm finished reading for the day, I'm gonna try and get this video up as soon as possible because tomorrow morning, I'm not going to have time to edit it. So I'm gonna to have to work into the evening, into the night on this video. So my plan is to start editing it now, at least the first few clips from this morning and doing the graphics and things, which it shouldn't be too difficult. I've listened to most of Burn Our Bodies Down. I have to say, I'm not loving it. It's not, I don't know, it's just not very engaging. Whereas Wilder Girls by the same author was very mysterious and quirky. Maybe not quirky, that's not quite the right word. It was very different to what was out there at the time. And Burn Our Bodies Down is, the storyline just isn't that great. And I have seen that the ending is very shocking. So I'm looking forward to finding out what happens at the end. It's just, I'm not really that connected to the main character in that I find her very 
because she is so frustrated with the way everything is for her i'm also feeling that frustration but not just with the way things are but also with her character which you know is fine but yeah at the moment i'm just really struggling to connect with her um so yeah i'm not loving the book i'm probably gonna give it three stars at this rate it depends on how the ending is though because if the ending is really good then that'll be really exciting so i'm going to power through that now i think i've got two hours left of it and i'm listening on 2.5 speed so it shouldn't take me too long at all i'm going to edit the first bit of my video and then for the rest of the day i what plans do i have i need to read um i'm in a massive reading mood today which is fantastic because sometimes when readathons happen i feel the pressure and then i don't read anything today i am feeling fantastic about reading so i'm going to get started on the way of kings and also on the last astronaut i think i'll start with the last astronaut because i'm kind of in the mood for some sci-fi i'm really glad i picked some different genres because i knew this would happen i knew that if i read too much fantasy in the beginning i would get into a fantasy slump so mixing genres is where it's at so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now it's only 11 o'clock so i do have a lot more time to read today and then also six more days of reading for the rest of the week i do have some plans i need to take some books back to the library which i, I haven't been to in ages so i might have a quick browse there depending on how many people there are. I know that my library is restricting the amount of people they let into the building so that's good. So I need to take some books back which I think I can only do from Wednesday so I'll probably do either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm also going to be going to a museum on Saturday. They're also restricting entry so they're not letting loads of people in so it should be easy to social distance. We'll obviously take our masks and things and then also we're going to go for a walk in Wendover which will be really nice. So I've got some things going on this week which is surprising because I thought because of lockdown or because of Covid I wouldn't be doing that many things but it turns out out I am so that's really exciting hopefully I have enough vlog footage for this week and I've got enough going on to keep things interesting I will go ahead and edit some of my video now and then I'll get back to you later once I finish burn our bodies down it's lunch time and I'm just heading outside because I've decided that I want to eat lunch outside and just chill for a bit before I have to go back to work um I get an hour for lunch so I should be able to get some reading in then I just need to figure out where I put my blooming sunglasses oh it's okay i found them oh, it's honestly so gorgeous outside today so i think i might just sit out here for the rest of the afternoon and see if i can work from my laptop so i finished burn our bodies down i felt about the same as i did earlier with it it's an okay book definitely nothing outstanding and it's just not going to be a new favorite so i'm going to give it three stars now that i have an hour for lunch i'm going to start the last astronaut and i think i might give it half an hour see how i'm feeling and if i'm not invested then i'm going to start the way of kings i think justine started it a little while ago and i'm now hyped to start it but i'm also very conscious that i really want to read this one too so yeah i'm gonna spend my lunchtime maybe splitting these two books we'll see how it goes i am feeling really chill and really happy about this week i'm in such a good mood for the rest of the week i hope it goes really well i'm sorry if you can hear the traffic there's a massive bridge over there and we can hear the traffic sometimes so yeah i'm gonna chill outside for the rest of my lunch hour i'll let you know what i do end up reading it's now the evening and quill and i have had dinner we uh, ended up eating a burrito bowl except on a plate because we couldn't fit it into the bowl that we had so that was really nice we ended up watching tv too now i think for the rest of the evening i'm going to catch up with the way of kings read along that we're doing i've got about 50 pages to read i think and i'm going to read a bit more of the last astronaut i don't know if i'm going to finish this one tonight because i do have a few hours left until i go to sleep we'll see where i get to and maybe i'll finish three whole books in day one of the reading rush and that would be absolutely mad but i don't think that's going to happen even though this is a very short book i think i'm probably going to finish it off in the morning okay everyone so it's night time well it doesn't look like it's night time but it's because the sun is still out just after nine o'clock and it's still very bright outside but i'm getting quite tired so i've decided to come up here to read for the rest of the evening and then just crash because today was quite intense with all the reading and then mondays at work are always quite busy i'm going to do some more reading now of the last astronaut but I thought that I would give you kind of a wrap up of today and how it's gone. So obviously at the beginning of today, I read for a couple of hours and I finished off Warbreaker. So I read 200 pages of this one. If we're going to be precise, I think I read maybe two... 130 pages or something like that or maybe 170 170 pages of Warbreaker. this one is about two sisters it's part of the cosmic universe the eldest sister was meant to marry the god king but instead their father sent the youngest one to marry him and in this one the magic system is to do with breaths and you kind of give away or sell breaths. Honestly, this isn't Brandon Sanderson's strongest book and it's not his strongest mag magic system. It's still an okay book, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. 
so I'm going to give this one three stars. I then finished off Burn Our Bodies Down, which I had four hours left of. I don't know how many pages that is, but I will put that up on the screen so we can see my page count. This one is about a girl called Margot who has lived with her mother all her life and she has a very tense relationship with her mother and she one day calls her grandmother, she finds her grandmother's number, phones her and then goes over to see her and obviously her mother is very unhappy because she doesn't want Margot talking to her grandmother and then weird things start happening on the grandmother's farm and that's all I'm going to say about that one, it's a YA mystery kind of like a body horror sort of thing but not really biological horror it's okay i gave it three stars i really did like the writing style and the narrator of the audiobook was very very good but i didn't love the story itself or the main character who by the way is either bisexual or gay i can't remember if she explicitly stated but i know that she is into women yeah that was a bit disappointing but to be honest because i didn't love wilder girls i didn't expect much from that anyway and then continuing on with the Brandon Sanderson thing I read 80 pages 89 pages of The Way of Kings I'm really enjoying it obviously that's only that's less than a tenth of the way through the book so I don't have much to say on it it's just I do still really like this story and I love the illustrations in this book as well I forgot that it had so many illustrations in it and maps as well there are maps it's just fantastic so I'm looking forward to carrying on with this one tomorrow I can't remember how many pages or I don't know how many pages we are going to read tomorrow I don't know if we've decided yet but I'll have to check our messages and then finally the last astronaut I'm about halfway through this about 200 pages in and I'm really liking it it's a really good book so this is about people who the main characters are headed to Mars to be the first people to walk on Mars. This mission ends in disaster and then there's also first contact with aliens because an alien-like object starts or comes near Earth. I'll be able to give you a better summary once I've actually finished the book so I know like how much you need to know but I won't be finishing it until tomorrow because I don't think I'm going to be able to read another 150 pages this evening because I'm so tired so I think I'm actually going to watch maybe an episode of something and then curl up in bed and read a little bit of this before going to sleep but I'm so tired so I don't think I'm going to be able to stay awake very long but overall I think that's a very successful first day of the reading rush like I said earlier I need to now edit this video which is why I'm closing it off so early and then get it scheduled for early morning my time tomorrow. It's going to be fun doing that tonight. I'm very glad that I started doing it early. Let me know how your first day of the reading rush went. Let me know if you're doing daily vlogs because I'd love to come and check those out. Thank you for watching and I will speak to you again tomorrow.